Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video and welcome to Green Mangoes. In this series of video, I will share with you how to grow dragon fruit from the beginning to the end. And uh, along each step, I will uh, make a different episode so that way it won't be a long of a video. And uh, you can follow me on my journey as well. And uh, for today, the first episode, I will share with you how to root dragon fruit cutting. And you can also buy uh, cuttings from uh, nursery stores as well. And uh, either way, uh, I will sh um, share with you how to do it. And But first, you will, will need uh, a cutting from uh, dragon fruit, uh, mature dragon fruit. And then you need uh, rooting powder. Uh, you also need a pot. A pot needs to be uh, not too big, not too small, about three gallon size to start off, off, off is good enough. And then uh, you also need soil. For the soil, I use uh, soil from potting soil from Fox Farm, and Fox Farm makes uh, amazing potting soils, and I found it, it works best for my um, my potting trees, and I use it uh, almost for everything. The reason is because they have uh, organic materials that uh, uh, has kelp, it has uh, fish meal, uh, crab meal, and shrimp meals, and also um, it has perlites. Uh, it is also including sands. Uh, the the potting soil. It's very well drained uh, and yet it holds moisture and have enough nutrients uh, for the, any plants, any pot in, uh, any, any plants that you put in a pot to have enough nutrients for six months. So without any further ado, uh, I will demonstrate to you how to uh, root a dragon fruit cutting. First of all, the dragon fruit cutting that I, ha I cut from, from the tree, uh, you must dry this um, for at least five or seven days. The reason is, if you don't dry it, um, and the the cut it, the part where you cut here, it gets really wet. When you put it in the uh, in the soil, it will get rotten and uh, and it won't develop any root. So um, dragon fruit is all water in here, so you can dry it for for a few days and it should be fine. Should be able to do it. And uh, the next thing is, well, the first thing is um, I have a pot here, about three gallon size, pretty small. And uh, I'll add my uh, this one. And uh, you can see from the bottom of this part here, it has a lot of holes. The reason is because uh, dragon fruit doesn't like to have uh, wet feet. So when the soil drains very well, uh, it allows the um, the dragon fruit just to uh, suck in enough water and that's it. It doesn't have uh, water standing inside the pot and rotten uh, away this, this cut in here. So uh, first I'll fill this uh, pot with soil. And I leave uh, about a couple inches on the top here so that way when you water it doesn't splash all over the places. Uh, firmly press it down a little bit. Not too hard. And then the next thing is uh, just use your hand and poke a hole in the middle. There. And with the rooting powder, I just dip this in there. Good amount of uh, powder in there. And you don't want it to, um, you don't want to stick the dragon fruit in for, for, for too far because the root only develop uh, in this area here, about a um, quarter of an inch. So I'll put about an inch, inch and a half to the soil. I forgot to mention, but you also need a bamboo stick or any kind of sticks uh, to hold the dragon fruit in place. The reason is because I only put like about an inch, an inch and a half uh, to the soil, so any wind will knock this off. So, um, and I also need um, nursery tape here to tie it together. So, uh, first of all, I'll just uh, put this bamboo stick in there, stick it down, all the way to the bottom. 
and now firmly press the soil in place. And uh, I'll cut a piece of this uh, tape. Just slightly tie it together, not too hard because you don't want to damage uh, um, the cut in there. Since the soil I put in the pot is already moist, um, I will not water this for two or three days. Dragon fruit won't dry out that fast and it won't die, so don't worry about it. Just um, just leave it for a couple of days in the shade, shade, um, and then water in the, the next five days or so, five five to three days, depending. If you see the top of the soil is kind of um, uh, dry out, then give it a little bit of water. Don't don't soak it, don't saturate it because you don't want the cutting to be rotten away. It doesn't have enough root yet. Uh, what I will do next is uh, to leave it in the shade for uh, uh, 7 to 14 days. Usually 14 days uh, it will start developing roots. So don't bring it out to the sun yet. So when you start seeing about an inch of new growth, that's when you can uh, start bringing it out to the sun. But for now, for the next 14 days, uh, please put it, put it in the shade. And if the top is drying out, then give it a little bit of water, but nothing too much. And uh, and that's it. And uh, I can also show you uh, a dragon fruit cutting that uh, I also bought from uh, from nursery. This is one I bought from uh, from the nursery, and uh, as you can see, that uh, it's starting to have about two inches of of, uh, of new growth already. This is when you can uh, bring it out, bring it out to the sun, and. Uh, and acclimate it to the sun and, and, and start growing it and you can transplant to the big pot but, um, but that's, that's how you uh, root the dragon fruit and uh, be patient with it, it will take a, a week or two uh, sometime uh, a few weeks to start uh, developing roots there you have it guys, uh, this is the dragon fruit cutting in a pot with uh, potting soil and uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks or so uh, we start seeing uh, root develops on, on this dragon, dragon fruit cutting and we can transplant. Again, uh, just a reminder, please leave this in the shade for at least 14 days uh, until we start developing uh, roots and uh, uh, new shoot coming out from this dragon fruit cutting. Until then, uh, you can, um, and then you can bring it out to the sun. But uh, for the next episode, I will share with you how to build a trellis and uh, plant dragon fruit in a bigger pot. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to uh, see my next episode for growing dragon fruit. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.